Okay, well, I'm back here with another crack me running through Ghidra. Uh, after being told a few uh, things that uh, was felt like I could improve on, one, I have a uh, face for radio, so you'll notice you no longer see it on there. I have a voice for silent TV. Unfortunately, I kind of have to talk. And uh, the resolution was too high, so I have lowered that to 720p on my recording so hopefully that allows the ability to see what I'm typing and what I'm clicking just a little bit better also I'm not going to be going through the initial setup of Ghidra uh, if you're interested in that it's in the first video Having said that, I've gone to CrackMe's Die 1. I'm just going to go down through these one at a time. The next one is this Key G Me by Ryan. However, uh, when I was prepping this, uh, if I can find the proper terminal, I could not get this to run. So, I don't know what is going on with it it is executable um so i'm going to have to skip it and instead we're going to do the next one in line which is pi is my fave now the name to that may give away what the answer is uh as a matter of fact i've actually named the folder uh, appropriately, I suppose. So, in trying to run that one, and again, uh, if you're curious, I just basically did a very easy C, C++, Unix, Linux as my uh, search criteria. I am in an Ubuntu 18.04 virtual box. So, uh, let's see uh, what's required here uh, of this crack me. Okay, welcome to the wonderful world of assembly. What is the magic number? So, um, uh, it's obviously looking for a number. Put something in. Try harder. Okay, so we will go ahead and open up Ghidra. And I've already got everything kind of preset because the uh, feedback I received was that I needed to move a little faster through these items, although the initial one was the initial setup, so that is going to be a little bit slower than, say, uh, some of the rest of these. We're going to uh, open text in the program tree, open main in the symbol libraries. Uh, as you can tell here, I've got uh, a lot less space to work with with the lower resolution, but uh, the part I'm interested in really is this uh, C code over here. So, here we see the Welcome to the World of Wonder, uh, Wonder, World of Assembly. What is the magic number? Okay. So, we've got some local variables here and some math that we're trying to do, see if they are equal, and then saying that is the flag. So, in part of this, uh, local 10... I see local 14 and local 18 are being compared. Local 10 is one of the functions, and it's 0xe. If you don't know what that is, let's uh, try to find that out. So int 0x, and what was it? Okay, 0xe, so it is for sure just exactly that. It is 14. So I'm going to do something that I didn't do the last time. We're going to rename this variable by pressing the letter L. Rename it from local 10 to this is 14. Because 0xe is 14. So let's see where this is 14. Okay. So this is 14. So local 14 equals this is 14 plus 300 divided by 100. Okay, well, if we do the math on that, that is 314 divided by 100, giving 3.14, which is the number pi, 
We're doing a test here saying that is that the flag. So let's try to run that. Uh, wrong window there. So uh, let's try to run that. And we will try it with 3.14 as we figured out through the math. And that is our flag. So we have solved this crack me using Ghidra. Simply looking at the C code, I did not look at any of the assembly. Again, I think this is going to come back and bite me at some point in the future. But for now, on the super easy crack me's, it seems to be something that uh, is more than sufficient uh, for cracking these. Now, I'm going to go ahead and end the video. I uh, have read a funny subreddit here about the things that annoy people the most about YouTube videos. On that list are people asking for subs and punching the like button and saying something like, this is your boy. I'm not doing any of those. I hope you enjoyed the video. Have a good day.